Finding the performance of a single phase thyristor converter. Here there is one problem. If the converter of figure has a purely resistive load of R, the delay angle is pi by 2, determine the rectification efficiency, the form factor, ripple factor, TUF, the peak inverse voltage of thyristor T1. Okay, right now we will uh, study one by one. Okay, what which circuit it is? We are asking. The, he is asking. Figure. This is a circuit. Which circuit it is? This is half wave controlled rectifier. Which load? Load is R. If load is R, we need to understand that current is in phase with voltage. Okay, this is an input voltage. What is the firing angle? Firing angle is pi by two, ninety degree. Okay, what is uh, he is asking? He is asking us to calculate the rectification efficiency. So, what is the formula for uh, rectification efficiency? See, rectification efficiency formula is this: eta is equal to P D C of load divided by P A C of load. Okay, this is your given pick, given circuits, given circuits. So. Rectification efficiency is PDC of load divided by PAC of load. Okay, so PAC of load or else uh, power uh, AC means RMS of the loads. Okay, what is power formula? VDC into IDC, power DC. Power AC means VAC into or VRMS into IRMS of the load. Okay, DC formula P DC of the load, VDC of the load into IDC of the load. Okay. First of all, you look at the circuits. This is a half wave control rectifier. We knew that this output voltage looks like this. If I assume that alpha is pi by 2. So, this angle somewhere here. So, Okay, so now uh, this angle, so this angle, this angle is a uh, alpha, alpha. It comes till pi. My load voltage, my load, my load, my load starts from alpha, goes till pi, goes till pi okay go still pi then so here and uh, this is a half wave control rectifier so there is no output from here to here okay this is again actually this is zero zero this is alpha this is pi mm, this is alpha this is pi this is two pi this is two pi this is 2 pi plus alpha, 2 pi plus plus alpha. Okay, so this is a uh, so whatever we have seen here. This is my load. Uh, this is my load voltage. Load voltage. Load voltage. Okay, this is my load current. This is my load current. So, load current uh, is in phase with voltage. Okay. This is my load voltage. This is my load current. Okay. So, load current 
is in phase with voltage Lo this is load voltage and this is load current load current this is r load that's the reason also it starts from alpha it varies like this and it goes till pi and at the from pi to 2 pi because this is r load so there is no load current hmm? there is no load current similarly from 2 pi to in the next alpha it starts 2 pi plus alpha it continues okay so first we have seen here we have seen here we have seen here this is my rectification efficiency formula this is my rectification efficiency formula so rectification efficiency is eta is uh, we can see here this is my rectification formula eta this is equal to pdc of load pac of load okay we'll see what is pdc of load okay okay so i will write right now so p d c of load p d c p d c of load is nothing but v d c v d c into into i d c p d c of load is v d c into i d c so So, if you see, so VDC we need to calculate, IDC we need to calculate. What is VDC? VDC is average voltage delivered by this circuit to this load. Okay, this is average, uh, average, where average voltage delivered by the circuits. Okay, so. average voltage delivered by this circuit to this load this load so we have seen this waveforms we have seen this waveforms here okay we have already derived the formula see we have last class we have derived vdc of load is 1 by 2 pi alpha 2 pi vm sin omega t d omega t after seven, after uh, simplification we got final results like this vm by 2 pi 1 plus cos of vm by 2 pi so 1 plus cos of what is idc of load so same formula what is the difference between uh, this waveforms uh, voltage waveforms and current waveforms in this see here so this uh, this is a voltage so we it is changing like vm sin omega t this is a current it is changing like vm sin omega t divided by r the voltage divided by r gives you current that's the reason in each instantaneous values i need to divide by r i need to divide by r so that's the reasons when you calculate idc the this instantaneous values of this currents i should integrate that's the reason 2 pi by r vm sin omega t d omega t Okay, this, 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 this. Finally, we got a formula like this. I D C of load V M by two pi R one plus cos alpha. See here, you no need to derive this uh, if you are already if you are able to remember. Please remember half wave control rectifier V D C of load is uh, this is a formula, and uh, for uh, uh, I D C of a load this is a formula. VDC of load, if you divide by R, you will get IDC of load. Okay. I already told you what is the formula for uh, rectification uh, efficiency. Rectification efficiency. We can see, recti we can write, okay, we can write, we can write here now.
so rectification efficiency if i say rectification efficiency rectification efficiency okay rectification efficiency so efficiency we the symbol for this is uh, eta symbol for this is uh, eta here eta this is nothing but pdc divided by idc pdc is nothing but v capital letter okay it's not small vdc into idc vdc into idc divided by this is ac sorry uh, sorry my formula is wrong now so this is p power of uh, dc divided by power of ac i have shown here uh, this is a formula power of dc divided by power of ac of load so uh, we need to i will write once again eta is equal to power delivered to load dc power which is delivered to load and ac power which is delivered to load so is equal to v dc v capital letter dc of load kill okay, of load i dc of i dc of output or load we can say load okay this is also you write as load vdc of load idc of load divided by v rms of load v rms of load into i rms of load i rms of load so vdc of load how to calculate what is the formula that we need to do it here so vdc of load is nothing but so what is the formula for uh, vdc of load so vm vm by 2 pi 2 pi 1 plus cos alpha cos alpha here vm is not given you keep vm and vm divided by 2 pi into 1 plus cos 90 is 0 so this becomes vm by 2 pi so if you check in calculator what is the 1 by 2 pi value it is vm by 1 by what is 1 by 2 pi value 1 by 2 pi value is 0 0.1592 into vm so vdc of load we got similarly i can calculate idc of load idc of load is vdc of load vdc of load divided by r so this is 0 0.1592 divided by r what is an val r value what is an r value r value he has not given okay keep that r as it is okay next so vdc of load we got idc of load we got then i said the uh, power of v p p a c means v r m s of load and i r m s of load what is v r m s of load v r m s of load i think uh, we are having a formula last class we have derived it v r m s of load is v v m v m by 
to 2 1 by pi 1 by pi then pi minus alpha pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha sin 2 alpha divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 whole power half or root it is what is the meaning whole power half here in my case alpha is pi by 2 that is the reason v m by 2 v m by 2 1 by pi 1 by pi pi minus alpha is pi by 2 pi because my alpha is this is pi alpha is pi by 2 pi by 2 plus sin sin 2 pi by 2 means uh, 2 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 power half mm. so what is finally we got v v m v m by 2 v m by 2 v m by 2 1 by pi 1 by pi 1 by pi this is pi by 2 because pi minus pi by 2 and uh, this is 2 2 cancels each other sin pi sin pi 0 0 by 2 so only this remains this remains so pi pi cancel each other pi pi cancel each other so this becomes vm by 2 root 2 okay this is vrms of load okay so we have studied that what is i rms of load i rms of load i rms of load is v rms of load v rms of load divided by r so i rms of load i rms of load I RMS of load is equal to so VRMS of load we have calculated already VM by VM by 2 root 2 hmm? so uh, R is there so divided by R divided by R so I can calculate now we have already calculated all the values here ok we have already calculated all the values so so what is my rectification efficiency formula so Eta. So rectification formula is eta, 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 eta. Eta is equal to V D C of load. V D C of load is a uh, V V D C of load load into I D C of load divided by V R M S of load I R M S of load that is the reason equal, so equal to what is the V D C of load we already calculated somewhere here it is 0 0.1592 V M okay point one five nine two v m then idc of load point point one five nine two v m divided by 
R R this R will keep here. Okay, next VRMS of load. VRMS of load is similar. You can see here. Hmm? Vm by I will write here. V V M M. Uh, denominator two root two is there. Okay, Vm by two root two two root. So then I R M S of a load. Where is I R M S of load? I R M S of load is in here. See, this is my I R M S of load. What is that? Hmm? I R M S of load. I R M S of load. So RMS of load is um, V M divided by two root two into R. So this R this R cancel each other, V M cancel each other. So this V M cancel each other, this V M. This V M cancel each other, so this is finally point one four one five nine eight two whole square divided by. Hmm. Hmm. So this, if you calculate, you calculate this. This is just point one five nine eight two whole square. Point is there here. Okay. And uh, what is uh, one by two root two? So one by two root two is uh, it seems to be point three five three six point three five three six three six again one by root two root two whole square whole square. I think we will get some value. This is nearer to point two zero. To seven. Okay, this is equal to twenty point two seven percentage. Twenty point two seven percentage. So we have derived, we have calculated rectification efficiency. Next. Go to next line. Okay. Next, what is the uh, next uh, next questions? We need to calculate. We need to calculate. First one is A is rectification efficiency. Uh, this is rectification efficiency. This is rectification efficiency. This is over. Now, now we need to calculate the form factor. The form factor formula is. You can see the form factor is very easy. Form factor is VRMS of load divided by VDC of load. It is already calculated. What is VRMS of load? We already calculated. See, v, uh, VRMS of load is uh, Vm by. Uh, so my here it is there. See.
this is my vrms of load vm by 2 root 2 and uh, vdc of load is uh, vdc of load is 0.1592 vm 0.1592 vm so can you check uh, what is 1 by 2 root 2 vrms of load vrms of load is point 1 by 2 root 2 is point 0.35 point 0.3536 of vm so already we have previously we have calculated both values 0 0.36 0 0.3536 vm and uh, 0.1592 vm that's just i'm using that okay so do it so we'll uh, take a formula uh, what is vff form factor vrms of the load divided by vdc of the load what is vrms of the load we have calculated here uh, what is vrms of the load 0.3536 vm so you write 0 0.35 36 36 0.3536 vm divided by vdc of load vdc of load is vdc of load vdc of load is 0.1592 vm 0.1592 vm so this this you got constant 0 0.3536 0 0.1592 if you calculate i think you will get okay so 2.221 as an answer 2.221 this is a form factor this is a form factor form factor so form factor is equal to form factor is equal to you can write in percentage 220 uh, 2 to 0.1 percentage means just multiplying this by 100 100 okay next what is the next question so next question is the ripple factor so ripple factor formula is uh, form factor minus one so you can calculate ripple factor is root of 2.221 whole squared minus one minus one okay i think uh, we got you will get a value of 1.983 so so you will get ripple factor uh, ripple factor is equal to 1.983 uh, you can uh, co call this as 1 percentage percentage just multiplying that okay then tuf transformation utilization factor this is formula is p pdc divided by uh, this is source voltage rms source current rms okay this is actually rms of the source voltage uh, uh, source current rms values okay so pdc is what is vdc into idc okay so low vdc of load it is load idc of load this is uh, rms of source you can call us and i rms of source i will write it in the next line the last factor tuf this is called as transformation transformer utilization factor the formula for this is PDC divided by so source voltage RMS of the source voltage source uh, RMS value of the source current source current so PDC is nothing but the power uh, dc power of load means vdc of load into idc of load divided by v rms of source i rms of source 
so t u f is t u f t u f is equal to v d c of load we have already calculated v d c of load is how much point one five nine two previously we have calculated nine two v m and i d c of load is simple point one one five nine two v m v m divided by r and uh, what is v r m s of source v r m s of source is formula means what is the source voltage coming from this end we have considered a peak as v m that's the reason i should say v r m s of the source is v m by root 2 hmm? and what is an i r m s of source v r v i r m s of source is this current which is flowing to the loads load side is coming from the source the load and source are in series right now so whatever current is flowing in the source load side is coming from the source side so we, we are already having the rms values of the load current so we can use it because the current is flowing in this way it is uh, if i get the, if i have the waveforms of the low load current the same waveform is applicable for source current Okay, that's the reason. Load current waveform we are having. I am assuming it is, this is same as my source current. So lo using load form, load uh, current waveforms we have calculated the load current RMS. So that value I can use as a source current RMS. Source current RMS. That's the reason. See, uh, this is a current flowing in a load side. Load side. This RMS value we have already calculated the, uh, using VRMS formula, VRMS divided by R. Mm? Okay, so that's the reason. Okay, we have already calculated VRMS of the load somewhere here, uh, and the similarly IRMS of the load. What is an IRMS of the load we got finally? Vm by two root two divided by R. Vm by two root two divided by R. IRMS of load is VRMS of load divided by R. What is VRMS? Already we have calculated. VRMS of load is uh, calculated. See using this formula. So VM by uh, two. This is a formula. We have derived it. So finally we got VRMS of load point three five three six of VM. So I can say that IRMS of load is nothing but point. Three five three six. Sorry, uh, point IRMS of the load. IRMS of the load is point three five three six VM VM divided by R divided by R. So I will use this formula IRMS of load. Mm. So point. Uh, uh, I I will use it. Point three five three six three five three six vm by vm by r vm by r. So this r cancel with the this r this r vm cancel with this vm cancel with this. I think you will get value. You will get value something like point one zero one four. This itself, you call we are calling as power factor. It is also called as TUF in this case. Transformation utilization factor. Okay, so finally you say that transformation utilization factor answer is point one zero one four one four. Next, what is next part? The peak inverse voltage of a thyristor. See, when the thyristor is uh, see, this is my uh, this is my source. This is my input. So when 
in the negative half cycle this is in off state so this is acting like an open open circuit at the time what is the voltage applied in between anode and cathode in the negative half cycle this is what is a peak value this is a peak value this is a peak value of the voltage which is applied hmm, to this off state scr so what is this value this is minus vm this is minus vm that's the reason the peak inverse voltage of the thyristor t1 is vm so last question answer the peak inverse voltage piv of thyristor is vm so vm thank you